not trying to throw any shade, but sometimes shade is truth and truth is shade and they're one and the same homegirl. So. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. I am here for you so we can all be on the same page, girl, so you can stop getting bamboozled on these Instagram and YouTube tutorials. We ain't gonna keep it cute, we gonna jump right into it. Today we're gonna be talking about different hair textures and different hair types so you can know what your hair texture is and be able to tell right off the bat if a tutorial is gonna work for you or not. I don't want you guys to be out here expecting false results. If you know your hair type right off the bat, when you look on someone's page and they're doing diffusing their hair or whatever finger call me, you're gonna know whether your curls are gonna turn out more like coils or more like the Z form when wavy. It'll also help you know like what products to use and things like that. Because if you're a 4C hair type girl, Mitch Chicks products isn't going to work for you. You're expecting a certain result, girl. If you ain't got that hair type, your hair's not gonna turn out like that. I feel like primarily on YouTube and Instagram, um, 3A and 3B hair types are mostly like praised. I love all natural hair textures, but specifically for my women of color who were like 4B, 4C hair, I think we are underrepresented on Instagram and YouTube. So that's where I come in. If you want me to do a specific hairstyle, you want me to talk about a specific product, comment down below. Follow me on social media, DM me girls, stalk me, whatever you want to do. I'm here for you to help you, but for the sake of this video, we're going to go over all the hair textures. So let's get right down to it. For the first hair texture, um, not many people know, a lot of natural women, especially women of color, think that the hair chart starts at like three, but it actually starts at one. If we hear one, probably doesn't apply to you, but just to be fair, I'm gonna draw it out. So for the hair texture one, this is it. More of the like 3B through 4C hair textures. I feel like my tutorials will be most useful for you guys. But I'll talk about everyone because I love everybody and I think everybody should be included or whatever. It's gonna be like a super, super, super loose curl pattern. This is gonna be more so my women who are mixed, mixed race. It's gonna be you homegirl, 3B, 3C. And again, my drawings might not be the best, but for the purposes of this video, girl, I can't be pulling people at random off the street, putting their head in the camera. So these pictures are gonna have to do. Almost identical to 3C, but a little bit more tight curls. So this is gonna be like the girls who you see, um, they just naturally have big hair. Like they don't have to pick it out or anything. It's more so girls who have like, they're mixed, but they have red hair. And a lot of women of color who aren't mixed kind of have a four. Um, it's kind of smoother at the root of your hair. You don't have as much like coarse edges and things like that but you still have curly hair, so. Who is texting me during my, it's just my brother. My hair ne doesn't necessarily curl like this. It just kind of goes like this. If you go to my flat twist tutorial, my first video, um, I'll show you guys my natural curl pattern. that it literally just goes like that. It doesn't coil around like that. You can't really tell because I have my hair in a little vintage bun. Last but not least, 4C is gonna be the most coarse texture. Obviously, it being the last one, right? The curls are so tight. This is a terrible, terrible drawing, but y'all gonna have to work with me, please. Um. So 4C is like, like them strong, strong jeans from the motherland type hair, you know? Which is beautiful, like all hair textures are beautiful. Not trying to throw any shade, but sometimes shade is truth and truth is shade and they're one and the same homegirl. So y'all be out here getting bamboozled by these people on Instagram and YouTube who have three hair, 3B hair, and you have 4C hair, your hair's not gonna turn out the same as the tutorial that they're doing for you. I just want to be realistic with you guys. I be here and I want y'all to be here with me. So moving forward, I will tell you when I do a certain tutorial, I'm gonna tell you guys that this is the method that might work for 4B, 4C hair girls, like finger combing and coils might work better for someone who has 3A, 3B, 3C hair. You can do many things to manipulate your hair, but you cannot change your natural texture unless you get it chemically altered, which is not what we're here for, girl, because we natural. I know a lot about natural hair. I've been natural for about six years now. So um, eventually I'll do a length check, I'll do my hair journey, but for right now, 
Um, just for informational purposes, I want everyone to be on the same page so when you watch my videos moving forward, you'll know what will work for you the best. I almost forgot to say bye to y'all. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. So what? <laughs> Subscribe to my channel. It will mean the world to me so you can always be updated on new videos that I'm doing and we can be here Okay, see you guys later